Photosynthesis is a very important chemical process that takes place within plants and it allows plants to utilize the energy that is stored within light that comes from the sun. So chlorophyll, a biochemical in plants, captures that energy found in the photons that come from the sun and use that energy to transform carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrate and oxygen. Now approximately nine photons are required by the chlorophyll to essentially transform a single carbon dioxide molecule into carbohydrate and oxygen. Now if the chlorophyll absorbs light with a wavelength of 650 nanometers, find the efficiency of this process known as photosynthesis, assuming that the reverse photosynthetic process described in this paragraph releases 5 electron volts of energy. So, let's begin by summarizing what the process is using the following unbalanced chemical reaction. So the plant essentially captures a certain amount of energy that is used to combine our water and carbon dioxide molecule to form our carbohydrate, the sugar, as well as oxygen. So this is our endothermic forward process. So this forward process process requires energy. On the other hand, if we examine the reverse process, this is an exothermic process. So basically, these molecules combine to form back this molecule and the water molecule and at the same time, that process releases 5 electron volts of energy. So we want to find the efficiency of this overall process. So basically, the efficiency is given by the energy produced divided by the energy that is used up, the energy that is required. So basically, the energy produced is the energy that is released in the reverse process. And the energy that is produced or the energy that is required is the energy that is taken up in the forward endothermic process. So, we are given that the energy produced in the reverse process is 5 electron volts. So all we have to do is find what this quantity of energy is that is required in the forward endothermic process. So to find that, we have to basically use the fact that 9 photons are required to essentially convert these molecules into the products. So we take 9 and we multiply the energy that is found in a single photon that has a wavelength of 650 nanometers. So we know that the energy in a single photon is equal to H, Planck's constant, multiplied by the frequency of the light that consists of those photons. Now frequency is equal to C, the speed of those photons, the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Now we know the wavelength is 650 nanometers. So that is 650 multiplied by 10 to negative 9 meters. Now H is Planck's constant and C is the speed of light. So 9 multiplied by Planck's constant multiplied by the speed of light divided by the wavelength gives us the amount of energy that is required by the chlorophyll to transform the reactants to the products. So 2.75 times 10 to negative 18 joules. So now we have to convert joules to electron volts because this energy, the energy that is released is given in electron volts. So recall that one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 joules. So basically, we take this quantity and divide it by 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volt. The joules will cancel and we see that this forward endothermic process requires 17.2 electron 
kilowatt-ton volts of energy. So now, to calculate the efficiency of this process that takes place within the plant, we take the energy that is produced in the reverse process, 5 electron volts, and divide that by the energy that is required by that chlorophyll. So 17.2 electron volts. And we obtain about 0 0.30. So that basically means our plant is 30% percent efficient in transforming that energy stored in the photons and actually using that energy to power this process.